What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, another Vintage Cube Draft here on the Cube Machine dot dot USA. So I, as your host, I'm going to draft this cube, and you know what? We're gonna have a good time. And if we don't, I blame myself. Because then it will be my fault. Just ate a grape. Did it just say I ate a puppy? I wrote grape. No, it said it said grape. That's. <laughs> uh, jokes on you. You can't eat a handful of marijuanas. You have to inject them. Man, I was real excited about. Well, I guess I'm still excited about treachery. Opposition, treachery. Look at all these broken blue enchantments from Urza's Destiny. Thank you. <coughs> and then I died. T. Jesse, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm up to four trophies. You don't have to brag about it, okay? You don't have to brag. I think it's just treachery. Yeah, I like treachery. I like opposition. I'm going to take the treachery. Ooh, a Dak Faden and a Through the Breakles? Why did he call through the breach through the breach holes? I don't know. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Why did you guys see puppy? That's weird, because I see just ate a grape. Huh. It says grape on mine. What are you guys talking about? What's going on, really? <clears throat> I love Dak Faden. I really, really do. I think you guys know that, but I really like through the breach, too. I'm going to Dak Faden, though. Oh, Baleful Strix? Hmm. Oh, so I think it used the word filter because grape has the word rape in it. And I have filtered out the word rape. So, it probably did say puppy on screen. That would make sense. That would make sense. I like Baleful Strix. I also like Tamio. Hmm. I also like Fire Ice. <clears throat> There's quite a few good picks in there. Here, 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 here. Baleful Strix puts us into three colors. I don't think we need to be three colors just yet. Fire and Ice is nice and versatile. I think Tamio is actually stronger than she looks. I'm going to take the Tamio. And then we're going to just take this Time Warp, I guess, because now we have a Planeswalker. <clears throat> that seems good. I will talk less about grapes in the future. Hey, buddy, listen, you can talk about grapes all you like. This is a grape-free stream. <clears throat> no, not a grape-free stream. A grape-friendly stream, I guess is what I what I meant to say there. You think we're some kind of grapists here? Frosty? I think we're going to take this Karn, actually. I kind of like Karn with, with Time Warp here. Yeah, we have Karn, Tamio, and Dak Faden. This stream is not safe for grapes. You're right. Ooh, a control magic? Oh, we're taking that for sure. Two cards come back. Flame Tongue Kava. Let's see if Flame Tongue Kava can come back. Are we just a mono blue deck right now? Because that seems pretty cool. Rabble Master. Terramander. Abrade. Gideon. Bloke Blade. I almost don't mind Rabble Master. I kind of like a braid too, though. Hmm, this is interesting. I think it's actually. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it is Rabble Master. I'm going to take the Rabble Master. I think our braids. Oh, Burning of Zinyi. 
All right, we're going to take the Burning of Zinnia because I don't care about Recruiter in this deck. And it's possible that we can actually fulfill Thank a Crutch Jr. stipulation. Maybe. Keep up the grape work. <laughs> keep up the gingery work. All right, we'll do it. We'll keep up the gingery work. That's great. That's great. That's good. That's, that's, that's actually hilarious. I like Dire Fleet Daredevil in this part. I also like Light at the Stage. I think we'll take the Daredevil. Sower of Temptation came back? Now we have Sower, Control Magic, and Treachery. Oh man, let's just play against dirtily creature decks. <clears throat> Shut up and take my money. For a sip that I don't know, just like to have one on deck. Oh my god. <laughs> Travis. Okay, well, let me know when you think of it, buddy. Let me know when you come well, let me know when you when you when you come up with one. Good times. Oh, the fire ice came back? Oh, baby, this deck's Thank looking, you. This looks looking great. Sylvan Lightning, thank you so much for the reset. We're really, or the regular sub, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, all right, I'll take a Thunder Mile Hellcat. I'll put him on the sideboard for now, though, because oh, there's a lot of... Yeah, if you guys want to vote on... Uh, if you guys want to figure out a snip for Travis, <clears throat> for Unease Joker, just uh, you guys can you guys can workshop it in the chat if you'd like. <clears throat> None of these cards are exciting. I'll just take Field of Ruin in case they have a creature. Oh, the Flame Tongue Kavu does come back? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. The Terramander was one of the other cards that I was loosely considering. <coughs> I actually like most of these cards here. We're not even a Terramander deck. We have like one instant and sorcery. Oh, well, I guess two if you consider Time Warp, which you should because it's an instant and sorcery. Oh, only take cards. That's Shut up tough. and take my money. One gingerly buck. <laughs> it's good. That's very good. <clears throat> Secret alien, thank you for the gingerly buck. Really appreciate it. All right, so we're going to take mana drain here because obviously. <clears throat> Must have cards starting with like 15 different letters of the alphabet by the end of the draft. Wow, that's... What if you don't, though, is a problem. Oh my god. Take Mana Drain, get past Time Walk. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Good times. That is good times. <clears throat> Here comes the mock sapphire because people are like, I don't think this is pretty good. Uh, dig through time seems fantastic. Pester might could be good. It could be a nice hedge. Probably just dig through time, right? Man, can I get a Snapcaster Mage for this for this time walk? <clears throat> we have time walk and time warp now. This is pretty nice. Come on, pack three, pick two lotus. Let's do it again. I'm gonna take the dig through time. I think it's stronger than a. Uh, is it just Pestermite? Guys, infinite combo though. There is no stip currently. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Pestermite because it's it's just good. Oh, is it Signet? Oh, that's pretty nice. Hopefully this Manic Vandal comes back. Thank you. That's basically ooh, Deceiver Exarch? Now you're just now you're just feeding it to me. Picked been to be <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> Can you link me to that thing again? Because I might actually use that. 
Any thoughts on any Ren and Stimpy Planeswalker? I've been dying for a Ren and Stimpy. Oh my god, don't call it that. That's ridiculous. Oh god, I can't. Um, I actually like a graveyard-based lands deck in Modern currently, right? I'm gonna see if I can build one for tomorrow's for Wednesday's article at CoolStuffInc.com. I feel like there's a lot of tools for it between Life from Loam, uh, the green three the, the green three drop enchantment that makes bears. Oh yes, here we go. <laughs> That's so aggressive, dude. Yeah, we're gonna take this Jace Bellerin. Our deck is looking pretty pretty sweet right now. We have no fixing other than his Signet, which is not really fixing, but it's a two color deck. Yeah, we'll, we'll be all right. All of our red cards cost single red, so it's all right. We're basically mono blue with four red cards. <clears throat> you can also play Worm Harvest in the deck. Ooh, empty the horns. That's exciting, but not really. Nothing in this pack is any good. I I mean, I'll just take the on color card just in case we can get some shenanigans going. Are you for real? Is there mail today? It's Memorial Day. Is there mail today? I don't even know. Inferno Titan? Oof. That's a nice top end. I actually like Expansion Explosion a lot. <clears throat> Couldn't figure out why there wasn't just many uh, playables yet, and then I realized you just started pack two. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is only pack two. Yeah, we are G2G here. <coughs> You're a nice top end. <clears throat> Got him. You did. Will you be keeping signets in your queue? We're going in talismans. Um, <clears throat> I think signets are probably better, and by better I mean they're worse cards. I think I think talismans are better cards because you don't have to have an active mana. But I like the kind of uh, signets kind of cause a nice little tension where you have to figure out how to tap them. I want to just take Inkle Leviathan. I don't know why. If we got like Tinker, it's whatever. This is pack two. Our deck seems nuts. Because like if you go two mana play a signet, you don't actually have an extra mana. You only have the two. You only have you have zero mana. You have a signet, an untapped signet, and no mana, right? So like it forces you to to like decide what mana you're using better. Yeah, it makes you makes you forces you to make better choices with the mana you're using. So it's just it's one of those situations where instead of putting a better card in, which I think I think talismans are. Because they're just easier and they're more elegant. And you can just tap them for colorless if you don't want to take damage. Um, it's a situation where I'm like, I like the the the, the choices that, that Signets cause you to make. Yeah, sure. I'll take this thing. Are you for real? Man, not a single... But to be fair, we actually haven't seen any any blue, blue, green, blue red lands either, so... Um, I, it's not a matter of like, oh no, we passed a volcanic island. It's just a matter of like, well, we haven't seen any of these. Also, Pestermite and Deceiver Exarch might not be playable if we don't get... Huh. Huh. Burning and Upheaval. They're passing Mana Vault, though. Oh, man. Is the Strictly better Jace Divination in this queue? Uh, no, but there's not, there's not regular Divination either, so... If we take Mana Vault, do you think the Upheaval comes back? I mean, I feel like we have to take Mana Vault here because reasons. I mean, being able to play any of these cards on, like, turn two is just insane. Or turn one Karn is... Turn two Karn is also good. Yeah, we're going to take the Mana Vault here. <clears throat> I want the Upheaval to come back so that we can play Burning and Upheaval and try to have, like, a... Uh...
tell you for real. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. So we have opened, <clears throat> we opened Manager and we got past a time walk and an ancestral recall. Yeah, that seems totally, totally normal. Oh, Donto Vanguard, you can get out of here. What are you doing, sneaky? What are you doing, you little sneak? Um, so we have Manager and ancestral recall, and that's about it. Fire ice, I guess. For our torrential gear hog. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not saying that they pick something worse than that. They probably pick something that goes in their deck rather than just a random ancestral. But I think it's just crazy that we got a random ancestral second pick. Like, that's just fan fan fantastic. I'm going to take the torrential gear hog. I think it's better than mere battle sphere. I don't know if we're going to play it. Oh, cryptic command. Yeah, I'll take Cryptic Command, and I'll try to have the best blue deck that I've ever seen. I don't like Brainstorm, especially here, because we have nothing to really take advantage of it with. We have no fetches. It definitely could be Mono Blue. It just It feels bad not being able to play deck, though. I'm going to take Incinerate just because I don't have a card like that yet, and I'd like to. Venser seems good. Venser seems very, very good. Miscalculation could also be very, very good here. Hmm. <clears throat> Venser is rarely ever dead, though. I mean, ideally that Scalding Tarn comes back, but I don't... I'm not going to cross my... I'm not going to hold my breath for that one. I was gonna say I'm not gonna cross, cross my fingers for that, but crossing your fingers is easy. You can you can do that. That's fine. I'm gonna take the Venser. I think Venser is better. Oh, zealous conscripts, huh? That's a playable dude. All right. So it looks like we did not hit any of our <coughs> any of our pieces, any of our pizzas. Like that. Mizzy Mortars is fine. Walking Blist is also cute, but yeah, we'll, nah, we'll take what Mizzy Mortars. What the hell? Uh, we're going to take out the Deceiver Exarch and the Pester Might. Yeah, we're probably playing red. None of our red cards are too red except for Inferno Titan, which is fine. Biscuits and Grape Jam. sounds delicious actually what's twills twin what does that even mean did you just use the g word <laughs> oh daze is nice arcane artisan would be good if we didn't have if we didn't only have inferno titan i'll take a daze they're ready yeah, all right well giving me a bunch of things here rekindling phoenix oh boy we have zero pieces of fixing, but I guess that's, I think that's actually fine. We could just be very, very light red. This is 24 cards. We need one cut. <clears throat> Was that a gristle brand and an entomb in the same pack there? <clears throat> hmm. All right. Take it easy, chief. You can do whatever you like. This deck looks great. I'm actually probably cutting the days. Dark Fleet Daredevil seems fine. Incinerate seems fine. One, two, three, four. Four Planeswalkers. Yeah, this deck's... I actually kind of want the Torrential Gear Hulk almost. <clears throat> what do we have that's good at Torrential? Oh, we now have Cryptic Command too. So we have Cryptic Command, Fire Ice... Mana Drain, Ancestral, and Incinerate. I think that's actually good enough. We could also copy Expansion. Which, if they have something good on the stack, is just fine. 
Yeah, let's see if I can fit the Torrential Gear Hulk in for something else. Maybe just only these four drops. Control Magic and Tes Teferi. I like both of those. It might just be direfully Daredevil. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. If it's good, we can just bring it in. If it's bad, we can just leave it out. I actually think 12-5 is fine. I could see 11-6. Yeah, that seems fine. The only reason I'm not cutting double red is because I think Inferno Titan is just so good. I think Kavu is also very good. We don't have much removal for creatures. Kavu just kills a lot of things. And it's good in like against the aggressive decks where it's like a, a killer and a blocker. <laughs> He's a killer and a blocker. <clears throat> I will keep this hand. <clears throat> you can do whatever you want. Oh yeah, we're playing that. So next turn we can go Venser into Treachery following turn. That seems good. And we have plenty of lands for Inferno Titan. It's Blue Cross. Oh, that's a good one. <clears throat> I see. Well, that is rude. Man. Can you imagine if we bounce that natural order to their hand? <clears throat> Be pretty good. I'm going to do this because if we hit Mana Vault, I want to be able to Mana Vault here, but we did not, so... What's our plan here? Just survive into treachery? Block? Land? Yeah, we can take nine here. Oh, a bird of paradise. Suddenly, life has new meaning to me. There's beauty up above. <clears throat> Gonna tumble and fence your fears. Wake up suddenly. Bum 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 bounce this dude. I was thinking of a financial step where the select card must be the top one least monetary most or least monetary expensive cards. The only problem is identifying that card quickly enough. Uh no, but actually I think that's been brought up like you take the most expensive card in the pack. And um but it was hard to, yeah, it was hard to do because then you have to be like, wait, is this what if this is thirty five point you know thirty thirty five dollars sixty cents, and this one's thirty nine dollars? It's just, it, it, you, the margins become real close on certain things, <clears throat> so it's just like sometimes you're like, wait, I don't know if this is. Oh my god, he's so loud, dude. That's four, right? Yeah, we got one remaining. Okay. What 
what, what else were my other options? Zealous conscripts. Ooh. <clears throat> That's nice because if they somehow destroy the treachery, we can get zealous conscripts. That seems good. I mean, we're assuming they don't have Rex Sage or. I guess Rex Sage is like the only thing they could have in, in mono green. I mean, they could splash for like a Knight of the Knight of Autumn, but I don't. Yeah, you know, I have my doubts. We also get to untap Inferno Titan, so that's pretty cool. Oh. Oh, they conceded. They added two mana and then they left. They were like, you know what? We good. <clears throat> Elder? Uh, yeah, but they can't cast it. I mean, there's tons of things they could have. They could have Wicker by Elder. They could have Acidic Slime. They could have Woodfall Primus. But, like, they have three mana. Like, they'd have to have fourth mana. Play Wicker by Elder. Can't activate. So, I'm talking about things that they have to do in the next turn. Before I kill their, their guy. So. You know. Like you do. I kind of want days just because. If they're going to natural order. Oh, if it's pernicious, if it isn't pernicious, dude himself. What do we see? We literally saw. Who did they? Who did they? What did they sack? Elvish Mystic with the. Uh, with the dude. Yeah, Flame Tongue Cabo seems good here. Our whole deck seems great here. I'm gonna take out the expansion explosion. Take out Ravel Master, bring in Mizium Orders. <clears throat> Doesn't feel like a Ravel Master matchup. I'd rather be able to kill something big. Oh, yes. I will keep this hand. Probably not going to fire this off yet because we're on the draw, so we're just going to have to end up discarding cards. And I don't like discarding cards in in cube because you want to maximize your resources and if you're throwing away cards that you could otherwise use later in the game just so you can get a little bit of filtering earlier it just feels bad just draw some moxes idiot nice solid solid strategy nathan buddy i miss you man we haven't uh i haven't seen you in a while uh-oh the old double mox jet deck. Oh god, are you doing it again? Well. <laughs> He's like, let's just get a primeval titan this time. <clears throat> sure. I might Ancestral now just because I want to have an answer, so. And now we can play Signet, which is nice. It's not great, but... Jesus. Yeah, I feel better about the... So, when you have a chance to get, like, a, either a Terrastodon or a Primeval Titan, I would always go for the Primeval Titan because I feel like... Um, while Terrast Terrastodon is, like, the same as playing like turn three land destruction on your opponent you know and you're just like oh i'll just i'll just kill your land and like on your mana screwed opponent and then like you know it could work out sometimes but a lot of times they're just gonna they're just gonna be fine so they have two cards in hand and they're gonna draw finale of devastation what is this how much mana do they have right now six seven eight it's like a finale for six this is all one big fat yikes. We could steal their mocks. <laughs> I don't hate that as much as I should, because it's not very good. Puts them down to five. Finale for five. Which lets them get like an acidic slime or something. I 
Magical order was just demonic tutor and dark ritual combined. Yeah, I'll search for a six six and also add two mana. Forever. I think we're just gonna pass Inventor here. What's it gonna be? What are you drawing here? Forest bird. Okay, so bird. Finale bird. And then the two other cards we didn't know about. That is fine. Okay. Well, this is nice because we can actually bounce this and they don't get to replay it because they did all their things pre-combat. Finale read Titan, okay. Man, and here I am wishing the Primeval Titan was on board. What is this? How much mana is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So they have, they're just going to finale and give all their guys like plus 10, plus 10, right? Yeah, that seems pretty good. I don't think we can survive that, so I'm just going to go to the next game. <laughs> this seems pretty brutal. Okay, I want all the counter spells now, which I think we have. Also, Sower seems great here because it's just another way to stop their stupid idiots. No offense to your stupid idiots. Actually, total offense to your stupid idiots. Karn was fine, but I agree with you. I mean, there's, there's got to be a weakest link, and it might be. Actually, Jace seems better than Karn here, but I don't think they have a lot of sideboarding to do, so they've already submitted. All right, let's try this again. Okay, keep, <clears throat> snap keep. The snappest of keeps. I haven't fiction out what's going on. Yep, we got that. Oh, if we drew an island, we could have a Tamiyo this turn, guys. That seems good, right? Just gonna pass and Thank shoot you. your dude. Do 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 do. I have a fiction. I think it's much the reset. Really appreciate it. You're the hero we need. Yep. Kill it. If he dies, he dies. Give me that red source so I can tomato. And by red source, I mean obviously blue source. T -t -t Tomatoes. Oh, zing. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. Sylvan carry added. So here's the problem. I'm gonna I wanna daze this because if they have one more land. Cause if they have one more land, um they get to go land, natural order, and still have up daze mana, so I wanna be able to daze now while I actually still can. I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna take a point, unfortunately.
But now they still only have two lands, so. Can you zoom Tamio for you? Yeah, there you go. That one you can have. I assume that was long enough. I'm going to say nay. Ooh, that's a big dude. Pretty sure we're just going to tap this down. It's the same as tapping down a forest, only if you want to untap this, you got to put a counter on it. If you want to I'm probably going to take whatever two-card pile they give me. Yeah, that's fine. I want to be able to hit land drops at some point. Ideally, next turn. We can also sell as conscripts to just untap this if the... Uh, you know. Yep, that's a good one. We have no moxes now, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to say no again. Oh, that's fascinating. Hmm. What does that do? Yeah, we can take Garrick and minus to draw three, which is actually pretty good. But they still have a beast engine, which is which is a problem. Another thing we can do is steal the beast and then kill Garrick. But then, like, our planeswalkers are left pretty exposed. I feel like we want to... I feel like we want to keep Tamio alive for next turn. I think I like tapping this guy down. And then stealing Garrick and then drawing three so that they can't draw three. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. Uh, we're just going to plus Jace here. So now Tamio can ultimate next turn, and then we have Time Warp and oh my god, Time Warp and Tamio ultimate is uh is infinite turns. <laughs> Our opponent didn't want to split any piles. All right, you can have your Garrick back. I want my Garrick back. Five, six, seven. If they have land, they could just cast Terastodon and kill things. That could have been our misplay. Not playing around Terastodon. We still have Sower Manager in Time Warp in hand, so. Guys, if you liked it, then you should have put a Terastodon on it. That's what I always say. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, that's pretty good. So now you have four, five, six, seven. That's still not... Yeah, and this is also why we wanted to keep this guy back in case they just randomly make a 4-4 four four with haste and can attack our planeswalkers. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, you dirty biscuit. You old saucy biscuit, you. Well, that is sad. <laughs> oh my god. This is hilarious. We got some Frank stream bingo here. Uh, that cat is loud. Oh my god, dude. Frank does an impression. That's gas. Frank puts on monocle. Frank puts on sleeping glasses. Solid strategy. Frank confirms the universe is a simulation. Hunter is a good boy. Mike chews on ice. Frank is just too stupid to understand this. That's what father likes. Stupid idiot. Opponent is a big fan. Opponent is a medium fan. With all your strength. <laughs> Uh, I can't think of the quote anymore. You have nothing to threaten us with. Well, me with. That's that's hilarious. All right, so they're making this guy. What did they get? Terastodon. That's a that's a lot of mana, boys. I'm pretty sure this mana vault's just gonna kill us slowly. Killing us slowly with its song. Killing us slowly. Mana drain. Alright, so we can play Sower and keep up Mana Drain, which is nice. We can just steal this guy. Um, that feels like the best, the best use of mana. I don't want to play a 5 drop here. I guess we can... I'll take the two islands. Uh, good choice. Good choice. I got better. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Your uh, your pile splitting ability has definitely improved. Let's try to kill the Garrick. I doubt it'll work. It did not work. This gives us what, eight mana? That's a lot. So we can go one, two, free, one, two, free. Red, red, four. All right, you got it. Five, six. Okay, so I guess they don't want to play Terrastodon here. Into our into our open lands. I'm pretty sure this is just a let Jace go situation. Cause he ain't living anyway. That is totes fine, my friend. Totals McFinals. If we can draw another red, I'd love to Mizzy and Mortars here. But then we don't get to keep up Mana Drain, which is a scary proposition. Let's say no. Untap. Take another point. We did draw the red. One, two, three. What we can do is two at the end. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. You guys ready for this? This is going to be nice. Two at the Nissa.
Yeah, we'd be we can deal nineteen. Like we can go Mizzy orders this guy, time warp, attack for eight, attack for eight, and then deal through with Titan. I was like, wait, did I miss lethal? Okay, so now it would have been lethal. <laughs> oh. Uh, let's go Nissa, Garak, your face. Ah, oh, the old three turns in a row. No. There's no there's no world in which this is actually a a threat to us. With all your strength, you have nothing to threaten me. Pfft. All right, we good. We good. Our deck is sweet. Oracle of Smeldaya. What are they for? Six, seven, eight. Yeah, they're just dead next turn, right? Arctic is good. I apologize. I feel bad, but... I... Alright. Oh, well... I'll keep it. Any land lets us play is it signet. We got this ancestral recall. All right, now we're just gonna now we're just gonna run it like this. Well. Really hoping we were really hoping for a land there, but alas. I guess we could recall to draw a land. Yeah, we want to hit a land. Don't get greedy. Don't be a greedy idiot. And this guy's dead, but it's fine. Well the Mancer's gonna die as soon as we can get this Inferno Titan online. Inferno Titan online. Unfortunately, it's going to take Dak down, but I mean, we get to steal this forever, so. That's life. Oh, fancy schmancy. Again for the first turn, again for the first turn. I see we're winning with red as usual. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you got to embrace the dark side. Man, it's funny because I think, uh,. I think red is uh, much much more darker than black in terms of in terms of the evil the evil nature of the red. Shut up and take my money. I am one two against you, <laughs> Pearline. Thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it, buddy. Oh man, dude, that natural order though. That second natural order with a primeval titan. That was pretty good. I actually wish I didn't concede so you could have finaled for like 17,000. <sighs> Can we conscripts this guy? That doesn't do anything, right? We could treachery the Ophiomancer and then just play like Jace. That actually seems pretty good. Oh, that's what Admiral said. I thought you said... I See, without any punctuation, I thought you meant treachery Jace, like steal a Jace. 
And I thought you were just memeing, but yeah, this actually seems fine, especially because we have so many other steel effects in our deck. Resolve this. Go one, two, three. I was going to get Emrakul for show. Um, I was just worried about... Oh, did you have an Emrakul? A 25... Oh, man, I wish I let you attack with a 25-25 Emrakul. Now I have Remorse. And each player... Nope, just me. Just me, buddy. Oh, and we get a land? Beautiful. Guys, we're doing well. We're doing okay here. Punctuation is for morons who can't understand kipos. Perfect. Just perfect. Look how many snakes I can make. God. One per turn. This is a lot of looting they're doing. I'm a faithless looting. I'm gonna Doretti loot. Impulse and Imperial Seal in the graveyard. Man, for an artifact deck with your Tezzeret and your Talarian Academy and your Doretti, I'm not seeing many artifacts here. This is where they go like. Grim Monolith into Mana Vault into Warren Power Stone into Thran Dynamo. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'll shut up then. <sighs> Nothing. Oh. Um. Yeah, okay. Plague Crafter. Um... Did I just let Jace go? I don't even think I care about this Jace. Yeah, that's fine. I think I'd much rather have the, the Ophiomancer making snakes every turn. Oh my god. We could also just pass and keep up everything. That seems good, right? This hand any good? Can someone explain new to the game? <laughs> Can someone explain why this hand is good? I don't understand. Our hand is actually insane. They have one card in hand. I am actually going to try to ultimate this idiot. Uh, what do you think of the spoiled Kess card? Oh, well, I mean, it's just Kess, right? It's just Kess from the Commander set. Which is interesting, because that says to me that they are willing to put, like, straight straight reprints from Commander sets into Modern Horizons. So I'm wondering why we got that stupid snake instead of Baleful Strix. Come on, give me Baleful Strix. Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay. Is this, like, an Artifact Storm deck? Is this, like, a, a twofer? Yeah, that's that's a nope from me, dog. Oh, they're gonna crack the lion's eye diamond in response. Oh yeah, this is Yeah, this is no bueno, my dude. That's too much mana, so I'll just do this. Counter target spell. I'm just gonna bounce the Doretti. I don't feel like having any loot anymore. Counter target spell.
Oh, I forgot they had the three floating. Duh. Should have just let him. Okay, let him. Should have like keep drew my, drew my own card. Stupid. I'm stupid. I was like, ooh, they can't even recast this, and then I forgot about the three floating from the stupid Yogmas, the stupid Lion's Eye Diamond. Unbelievable. I guess we can kill this still. I also have Torrential Gear Hulk to just shoot this guy. So we deal three, goes down to two, goes up to four, then we deal another three. I'm just gonna attack your face. I don't care about the stupid Duretti. Maybe I do. Like they're in top deck mode. I'll just kill the Duretti and play a I'll just give them a turn and I'll just play Inferno Titan to just end the stupid game. Oh, don't do that. Come on, don't do that. Alright, you get one you get one top deck here. And then we're going back to Yeah, it's fine. It's one of the few times where they top deck a bonfire and I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. Deal. So you're basically dead is what you're saying to me right now. Five. Choose myself. Inferno Titan is a is a is an un, is an unfair card, guys. This is an unfair magic card. While the other Titans are great, they they really give you a, a sizable board presence. Inferno Titan just actually straight up murders you. Oh, I like Daredevil. Seems good in this matchup. They have impulse. They have a lot of shenanigans that we can take advantage of. Control magic seems less than good. We already have treachery. Yeah, it seems fine. Why you gotta keep shitting on Karn, man? Karn didn't do nothing to you. Oh, did they already submit? Oh no, I guess not. We can just control magic for Karn. I think it's fine. We didn't see many. We didn't see many creatures. Is the problem? Because Karn sucks. I guess that's a good reason. So I'll put in days instead of control magic. Sun Titan with haste and a lotus in the graveyard is also pretty good. I don't. I also don't know if Karn has a respiratory system. That's a good question. You guys are asking the hard-hitting questions here, and I, pre I appreciate that. So would you say Karn is a wannabe Karnson trait? Hmm. Oh, this hand is amazing. Oh, well. Get out. <laughs> Look, guys, I'm just trying to Karnson trait over here, okay? If you were a planeswalker, what kind of pie would you eat? I'd be delicious. Okay. Nothing. We always have the turn two Tamiyo, and we always have the non-double blue, even though we have like 12 islands in the deck. It's fan. It's just, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Play something stupid so I can just dave it out of the out of the stratosphere. Oh. Oh, I can't daze this hard enough. Oof. So six mana now and only a single blue. I didn't want to ice on their upkeep because I'd rather just counter whatever they play if they have a three drop. And also uh, I don't really feel like bouncing a land if we do have to daze something. Anyone else fall out of a tree today? I have not, actually. Today was not my fall out of a tree day. Man, just being able to slam a Tamiyo here and keep one of the lands tap would be so freaking good. That is fine. What 
Look at this. Look at this beauty. I don't think we need to do anything here. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I kind of just want to time walk here to hit a land because... They're going to start doing some shenanigans here. <laughs> Another double blue card. Okay. I see. Fashion relate to the party. Oblivion Stone. That's interesting. Okay, so now we're just now we're just doing we're just doing all right now. What do you do when you want the card? But you don't want your opponent to draw cards. They get two, but we get two. The problem is six mana doesn't do much because anything we spend it on is going to get oblivion stoned, right? So it just seems bad. What if we actually? Oh, what if we venser the oblivion stone here? We're going to do something. We're going to do some shenanigans here. We're going to bounce this. They're going to draw two, and we're just going to steal the uh, consecrated sphinx. And it's going to be A-OK. -okay. You can have my draws. I'll allow it. Give me this fat, dumb idiot. One, two, three, four, five. And now it's your turn. Oh, when we get to draw, so nothing instant speed. We can play Tamiyo too, but... Um, no, we actually didn't have four blue. Oh, I guess we could go blue blue. Yeah, we could have played Tamiyo too. I didn't want to commit too much because if they do end up resolving Oblivion Stone, it's bad for us. Like, I don't want to be like, they'll, they they play, play Oblivion Stone, we go Mana Drain, they go counter it back. And then, then our board just gets completely wrecked. We lose, like, five permanents. Like, this is a lot already that I'm pretty okay with having on board. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Hold on. They're going to put a copy of that on the stack. We are going to... Oh, this is gas. This is gas. Oh, uh, copy this. <laughs> uh, new target's gonna be this. Gain two. Gain three. Pay four? Nah, I'm good. 
Give me all of that sweet, sweet mana juice. Seems fine. Tap that. Oh, we just win. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Our deck is pretty sweet. Red does win. Inferno Titan's a hell of a card. You can do whatever you like. Red has always been the best color. Wow, them's fighting words. I'll keep this hand. It's definitely not as explosive as previous hands. But even those other explosive hands were not uh, were not being explosive because they're like, you know what, here's a five drop that you can cast on turn two if I gave you two islands, but instead I'm going to give you a mountain and an island, and you're not going to be able to do anything, you stupid idiot. And I'm going to be like, okay. Don't do anything. Oh no, don't port me, bro. Ah, uh, you have no soul. Alright, well, they don't do anything either, though, so I guess we'll just deal with it. Huh. Boy, you're really, uh... You're really, really scumming me here, huh? Yep, take another one. Boy, this Monastery Swift Sphere is super, uh, super effective here. So now it's a question of do we Karn, do we Jace, or do we Rabble Master finally? I kind of like Rabble Master here. Jace can, Jace can plus, but I'm not super impressed with that. Rabble Master just starts making one ones. We'll Rabble Master here. Ideally, our opponent just taps out and uh, plays a big idiot, and we can steal it. In a perfect world, my friends. In a perfect world. Oh, is it happening? Well, that's that's cute, but. Come on me. <laughs> wow. That's self-deprecation, though. Yeah, we'll just take five. Smuggler's Copter is a hell of a card. Make no mistake. Hmm. I could take this and just add them, just steal their some of their mana production. I don't care about this though. One, two, three, four, five. Now we can Jace negative one, or we can just Karn make a guy. Maybe plus Karn too.
three tank right there. One, two, three, four, six damage. I'm not going to block, and they're going to crew this. But if they attack with both, Jace takes four. That nah, seems fine. That's fine. That's not actually super depressing. I wouldn't mind an ancestral here so we could torrential gear hulk the ancestral. <laughs> they do think they run the place. You ain't kidding. I can't tell if they're going face or jace. Oh, both at Jace. Sure. Oh my god, can you imagine if we just top deck like a friggin' Infernal Titan here? It would be unbelievable. Well, they're not gonna let us do that, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. Can I kill you? Oh, you're just dead, right? That's just that's just game, right? This is five damage by itself. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this is game. This is Exaxes, I believe. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That is Exaxes. Wow. Admirable. Just consider it, consider that uh, typos are for grammar and spelling are for morons. So don't 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 trouble yourself. That was what's known as a. I'm gonna take. I'm bringing this Mizium Mortars in for sure. I'm gonna take the Karn out because that's what Admirable likes. So. I wish I had artifact removal. I guess we have Dak Faden, but that's not super exciting. Sower actually could be better than control magic here because we did see Rex Sage and we didn't really see much removal, so. I'll submit like this. I think this deck is actually very good, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sweat it. I'm gonna keep this. Having uh, fire and ice and Mizzium mortars in hand against this deck seems really good. And they went to six, so that's a good start. All right, so they do get to they do get to up this, but then we get to fire it, I guess. That's fine. Oh man, can you imagine if we got to kill both of these? Not today. Oh, that's a scary dude. He's less scary when he's in the trash can though, just to be clear. Oh, you got it. Red, red. Put one into play. <laughs> this is why the proletariat must rise. Uh, to be fair, I don't think you have any uh, proof of how hard working that elf was. They're going to have one, two, three, four, five. They're going to have seven mana next turn. No, they played... Yeah, they played the mountain that they got. So six mana at the... Yeah, we can just wait. I don't feel like taking either of these down. 
have them go like Inferno Titan or Primeval Titan. I don't actually care about this. You got it. Well, I don't want you to copy this guy, but I don't think you can actually do much with it. That seems good. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, boy. Oh, what's the what's the frequency, Kenneth? Attempted a time warp here? Thank I definitely you. want a Jace Plus when they have this idiot in hand. Yeah, we can just pass here. Noah, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Long time no see, Moon Frere. I would just rather have more things on the board when I time warp. Like, have a... <laughs> so cool. Oh, see how you see how you smash after your hands fall off. God, that's an old school. That's that's an older one. That quote has to be like two years old now. Yeah, this is the one I wanted to counter. Counter draw. So we know they still have tireless tracker. So we can't do anything about Tireless Tracker, so I'm actually just going to play Jace, and then we can uh, Time Warp next turn. Yep, those are all pretty good. I will choose Pile 2. Oh man, next turn, Steal Tireless Tracker, play Land, Time Warp? That seems good. Secret alien, alien, have a good night, buddy. Enjoy all your grapes. Or your puppies. Whatever, however you want to do. Alright, so we know they have Tireless Tracker in hand, but I think that's the only thing we know about. They're actually out card advantaging us, but that's... I think that's because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana sources. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. I guess 7, 8 mana. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you can have that guy. Oh. Oh, this is fascinating. They play that guy, but they know we have treachery. What's the frequency? All right, so trigger one, two, three, four. Five. Play our land. Get a clue. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Play time warp. Target ourselves. Plus Jace. Play Rabble Master. Uh, it's real. 
I'll take two lands. It's going to be manager rain. Ready? Oh, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So they're dead if they don't block anything. That's pretty good. Party Jace is in the house tonight. So what is this five, four, five, six, seven, eight? Well, that's not lethal, so that's sad. You got it. Mox Arena. Well, they had six mana last turn, so if Mox is what they needed. Yeah, that's fine. Uh oh. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. I think that's still fine, right? Eh. <laughs> yeah, like you do. Oh, we didn't play a land, so we can do it all. Yep, this is brutal. Kill you. You got it. Joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> oh, stack, just for the hell of it. both draw lethal in multiple different ways oh we can just And that's how you 3 0, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. Check them out on manatraders.com. They have sweet subscription deals that you can get uh, physical paper magic cards or magic online digital cards. And you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription service with the link and the promo code in the description below. Check that out. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore and you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And they are super comfortable, guys. I recommend them highly. MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can also get sweet Star Wars underwear or lounge pants, shirts, socks, whatever you guys need. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.